hello hello you guys can you tell that I went to sleep with my makeup on oh you guys yes I did yes I did I was like I'm gonna take a little nap right and um just a little touch of a nap because I was supposed to I was invited to be on someone else's channel um and you guys who don't know I was on Lockhead Boss Ladies panel yesterday as a guest and so you can go to her channel um but anyway so yeah so I was on there and then I was gonna do another channel last night um and she had changed it for today so um so anyway I was like I'm gonna take a little little nap or whatever and uh you guys you see I wake up oily you guys I'm an oily girl so this ain't just makeup this is like my face wakes up grease I'm greasy but anyway so um got me a bag of ice and I got me a iced coffee to try it from Sonic and it's not maybe it's good because maybe that because yeah I think I'm just gonna make me a regular coffee when I get in the house but anyway so yes I took me a little nap ended up just like rolling over and staying asleep when she said we was gonna do it today and yeah I ain't gonna stay stay asleep because my daughter came home from work um her and her friend they just giggling and laughing all through the night pac-man is up and down out the bed just up and down you just hear his feet his nails hitting the damn floor and yeah and the next thing i know my son is like i'm ready I'm like what the fuck did i even go to sleep anyway it's all good it's all good so you guys I kind of just want to just today is Thursday what's today today's Thursday today is Thursday so we're edging into the end of the week in the world there's been a lot that's been going on and um, you know I was asked a few questions on Lockhead's channel yesterday and I just want to kind of speak this morning just just give a little a few words on a statement that I made on her channel and that's just about being yourself knowing who you are know who you are and not only know who you are but be good with who you are okay um the hardest thing about life and dealing with people is that we sometimes feel like we can change them. Um, we feel like our time with people or our interaction with people will be different. Or we're going to be the ones to change their mind, change their perspective. Um, you know, make them in who to, into who we want them to be. And we're disappointed pretty much every time. Pretty much every time because at the end of the day when you're dealing with people what you do have to know is that you have nothing to do with who that person is and what they do on a daily basis okay um all you can do is control you you have control over you you can change you you know um you can make decisions for yourself you can't make a person be who you want them to be and I don't care who it is I don't care if it's your kid I don't care family member you know your husband your wife you cannot make people be who you want them to be and what makes that easier to deal with is just either accepting or leaving them where they at and the reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, us on my channel knows that I had a recent situation uh, with one of our, you know, one of our supporters. Um, well, I'm ex-supporter. 
And I, I don't even know if I would really call her a true supporter because see, here's the thing. You get to know who people are over time. And like I said, you can either choose to deal with them or you choose not to. And so dealing with this YouTube stuff, you know, we don't truly know who people are anyway. Because in order to truly know a person, you do have to be in their presence, you know, spend time, have conversations, you know, just you have to get to know a person. Um, the more you're around a person, the more time you spend, you do, you know, you notice mannerisms, you know, notice patterns um, and that sort of thing. And it's either going to be somebody that you are going to support and you're going to be cool with and you're going to accept them for who they are. Or you're going to like, you know what, like, you know, me and you don't really mix too well. So I'm going to just keep it moving. But you can't change that person and be who you want them to be. Okay. So we have a, a woman, who, you know, she claimed to be a supporter of the channel, a supporter of mine. Um, and she's also a supporter of another person who, you know, I... I'm not really, you know, I'm not good with at this moment, right? And, you know, I stopped by her channel and the topic is moi. And, um, you know, that person is laughing because she just thinks it's hilarious what people are saying in the chat. And then the person who is supposed to still be a supporter of mine is laughing. Now, she says, I don't know what she was laughing out, laughing about. See, here's the thing is if somebody else is laughing and they tell you and you say what? And they tell you, oh, what they said about Ask April. <laughs> oh, my God. They're so funny. And then you. Oh, oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? And do all of that. I would think the average person would, and I'm just saying I'm an average person. I'm just average, okay? Um, would say that you were laughing about what she was laughing about. Now, if you weren't, okay, that's what you say. But here's the thing. When we are on these live videos, there's no, no you know, you uh, you're kind of caught in the moment. You say things that maybe you wish you could have took back. You know, you may do something that you wish wasn't in the video. Um, all those types of things happen, you know. But it's live. We see it. It's there. It ain't no taking it back. Um, and that's just what it is. So, I saw what I saw. I chose to dip out, okay. Um, and I also chose to block her. Because at the end of the day, it's not about... You, it's not about um, her supporting somebody who I no longer do or who I'm into it or whatever. It's about her reaction to what's being said about me. And that's the only thing. And yes, she's right. Because it's the same situation that happened with Dazzle and Joyce. The exact same situation. It's not about the person that you have on your channel or the person that you're engaging with. It's not about what that person said. It's about your reaction to it or your comeback to it. It's, and you don't even have to stop said before. It's the reaction. It's seeing how, you know, you may not just burst and ha, ha like just laugh and think it's so funny, but you know, it's the little, you know, that's fake to me. It's just fake to me and I just choose to not deal with people like that. And that's why I say you can't change people. I'm not going to try to change your mindset. I'm not going to try to make you not, you know, be cool with that person because I'm not none of that stuff. But what I am going to do is remove myself from the situation and say, you know what? You know, I would rather not deal with that. You know, I would rather not have a person be engaging with a person like that. And that's my choice. That's my choice. I didn't lie about anything. I didn't. All I did was block her and kept it moving and went on with my night. 
And now there's like, you come back with a troll page. You get reckless with your mouth in my chat. And then you want to continuously make videos about me. And then see, here's the thing. Here's a person who wants to act like they're not so much in the beef. Because this is a person who, you know, I've said a few times. I haven't said it lately, but I've said a few times. You know, if you guys see changes in me, if you see me acting different, if you see me, you know, whatever, you know, I'm open to somebody saying, hey, April, you know. I'm kind of noticing this or this or whatever. And she made a comment. Well, you said if we notice a change. And basically it was about the beef stuff, you know, because my name is circulating more. And yeah, I'm into it with, with me. I've been into it with a lot of people and that's fine with me. But, um, you know, she just felt like, you know, and she's not the only person, you know, well, the beef stuff or whatever. So here's another person who claims they're not all about the beef and they're not, you know, their channel isn't about this and they're not all about, you know, the mess, right? But they support so many people in the mess, but they don't want to support me in the mess. They don't think I should be in the mess, but you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll go to this person for that, that person for that, and this. You support the messiest person on YouTube. Like the worst. The person who has put out my address where my kids live. I don't give a fuck about talking about shit because number one, I already put my own stuff out there. But you support the messiest person on here. The one who will do anything for a click in the view. Who The one who has not one original bone in her body. Anything somebody else does, she tries to copy it. Because she sees it works for them. But yet you want to say something about a change in me or whatever. And I'm only bringing that up because... She later apologized about making that comment. Don't apologize for how you feel. You did and I accept and that's fine. We moved on. It's over with. But the thing is, seeing now where I keep hearing about these videos back to back because you ain't getting my click and view. Okay. So hearing about this stuff back to back to back to back that you have to say about me all of a sudden. I feel like a person when they can just boom flip on you just, just that quick just because they don't like a move you made. They already had those feelings anyway. That's how I feel. And all you did was solidify to me and confirm for myself that I made the right decision in blocking you. Because that's how you was really feeling anyway. You just didn't have a reason to express it yet. So you guys I'm just going to say. When you're dealing with people, don't feel like you have to deal with somebody because of who they're associated with, who they're not, you know, their contrib anything, their contribution, whatever, whatever it is. Do not feel like, don't feel like because you don't like the way a person is moving, you can be the one to change them. It'll be you. You choose to deal with people or you choose to not deal with them and leave it at that. And that's what I chose to do, you know, and at the end of the day, just be good with who you are as a person. We got to be good with self before we can make any type of, you know, change out here in the world. Or before we can influence any, any type of change, any type of betterment, anything, we have to be good with ourselves. And once you know who you are and you're good with that, you got you got the world at your hands. You can do anything you want to do. You can do anything you want to do. And you won't go around hurting other people to make yourself feel better. So you guys, that is it for right now. I am going to go get myself together and I will see y'all 
very, very soon. I love y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Okay, put a smile on your face. Enjoy your day. Um, do something that makes you feel good. You know, and just, you know what I'm saying? Just be good with who you are. Get to know self. Get to know self before you go trying to fix this person or, you know, offer this about this part. And it's just like, or try to, you know, diagnose this person. Get right with you first. And then, you know what? A lot of shit ain't even gonna matter. Love y'all. See y'all soon, okay? Bye-bye.